I am staring down the most beautiful girl in our office. I had decided that I would ask her out. Miss Shiratori! Would you like to go out for drinks? Oh, today? I actually have a date today with my boyfriend. Oh, she has a boyfriend. My name is Hajime Ishikawa. I just got rejected. I figured it wasn't gonna work, but it sucks to actually be rejected. The person I asked out, Ms. Shiratori, was a year older than me. She took care of me when I joined the company, and I fell for her with how well she worked and how kind she was, and how beautiful she was. There were an endless amount of people who would go for her, so I figured I'd be the first to ask her out before someone else took her. I mean, turns out she was already taken, but... Another? It's okay because you're paying, but you should slow down. Hmm? I didn't order anything. I'm alright. I want to get drunk. Huh? Kitamura? Ishikawa? The person next to me was a co-worker, Kitamura. She was bright and bubbly, and we often talked to each other about our departments. Why are you crying? Did something happen? I have a broken heart. According to her story, she saw the person she liked getting into a taxi with another woman. And that wasn't enough to say that they were dating, but she even saw them going to the same house. So he lived with someone? Talk about getting destroyed before I even ask him out. I totally get it. I had my heart broken too. Wow, coincidence, huh? That's why you're both drinking, huh? I guess so. <sighs> if I had known that she had a boyfriend, I never would have asked her out. Huh, wait, you asked out Miss Shiratori? Why? I know she's too good for me. No, no. The girl that my crush was with was Miss Shiratori. So... Nakajima was actually the one I liked, by the way. So Nakajima and Shiratori are going out, huh? I see. They're a good fit. Kitamura was interested in Nakajima, my co-worker. I don't work in his department, so I don't know much, but I had heard he was good-looking and had a good personality. And he's apparently really good at his work. I'm sure God had a great time chilling up Nakajima. Man, talk about coincidence, huh? Same day, same couple. Right? Uh, I wanted to be in love like one of those Uta videos. I get that too! Oh, I have a good idea then. Wanna go watch a movie together? That sounds nice too, but we become a couple! What? You like Nakajima though! That's why it's pretend! Haven't you seen it in the videos? Ah, I see. So we're gonna base it on those videos, huh? Exactly! I'm in! Maybe I'll get over my broken heart anyway. Perfect! So we were joking around, but it was pretty funny. We were both pretty drunk, so... Morning, Ishikawa! Morning! Why are you here? What do you mean? I came to bring your bento. What? I said I'd bring you bento like your girlfriend. We did say something like that, huh? Afterwards, I started hanging out more often with Kitamura. But that's all that happened. We didn't have any touchy feelings because we were still friends with each other and we both had some regrets about our previous crush. What do you think about the fact that we ran out of scenarios for pretend dating? It shows how little experience we have in dating. You're so pretty though. I'm surprised. When I was in university, I spent all my time playing with friends and I spent my time crushing on someone at work. I see. Okay, let's go on a date. How about a nice popular pool for couples? So more like going to play than date. Perfect! Let's beat that slide up! And so we ended up at a large pool facility on Saturday. There are so many couples. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? N no There was just some water that came flying onto my face. Oh, let's get in the flowing pool. Y yeah Crab. Of course we'd be in our swimsuits at the pool. Kinamore had an amazing body, huh? Maybe it was because I had gotten used to bringing around her after we started working, but she was also as beautiful as Shiratori. And I was on a date with that beautiful woman. I'm sure people would be jealous. Hey, pull my floaty. She's so oblivious. I'm a little nervous. 
All right. One banana boat coming right up. Not funny. We had fun with the water slide, the athletic course above the pool, and the giant shaved ice. I'm totally going to have muscle aches tomorrow. <laughs> right? <laughs> it has been so long since they've laughed this much. Oh, uh, yeah. We had broken hearts. And that was the only day that I cried. We work in the same department, so I see Ms. Shiratori every day. I'm not having a hard time because Kitamura is helping me stay distracted. Hey, let's go take pictures over there. Yeah! What? N nothing I mean, it is a date day. Even if it's a pretend date, I should hold her hand, right? Huh? What is, huh? Nope, nothing. We headed to a nearby bar after we played at the pool. The beer after a pool is great. And at the bar... Oh, hey, you should call in Kitamura. Whoa, what a coincidence! Monsieur Tori, Mr. Nakajima. We had stumbled into our respective crushes during our date. What kind of weird drama is this? H Hello? She must be in a world of pain right now. I just saw your update. You went to that pool nearby, right? Huh? You two, huh? You guys dating? Something like that. I see. Lucky, I want to go too. Why don't you go now? I just got some coupons. Go ahead and use them. Kitamura. Thank you so much. I'll go with my boyfriend another day. Huh? That's perfect. Make up with each other and go to the pool. Hey, stop telling your coworkers that we're in the middle of a fight right now. Huh? Something seems off. Wait, your boyfriend isn't Mr. Dakajiba? No, my boyfriend is so much more handsome. Hey! <laughs> Didn't we say this at work? We're cousins! Cousins? Yeah! Our moms are sisters, but they get along well, and honestly, we go to each other's houses like half the week. We're honestly like real siblings at this point. Kitamura just saw the two together and didn't actually know if they were going out. It all made sense why they were in the same taxi and went to the same house. I'm helping her out because she's arguing with her boyfriend. You wouldn't know. You're always single. You're single? Yeah, I've always been single. So she still has a chance. Cousins, huh? Just like us. Ishikawa? Our parents always hang out with each other too. That's why we were all going out today. Oh, I see. I thought you two were definitely dating. <laughs> nope, not at all. Kitamura is so bright and beautiful. She's way too good for me. How about asking out Miss Kitamura, Nakajima? She's great at cooking and has a fun personality. She's also got a great body. What are you saying? Hmm? It's true. You're single too? Oh, yes. I had something I needed to do. Sorry. I need to go. Kitamura, you should join these two. What? We're fine with it. Let's drink. I'll be leaving now. Hang on, Ishikawa. This is your chance. Don't worry about me. Go get your man. Ishikawa. I guess I was the only one that had a broken heart. I hope she's able to tell him how she feels. I don't want her to cry like that night. The only person who should cry is me. <sighs> broken heart seriously sucks. It wasn't love that I felt towards Shiratori. It was admiration. Real love is much more glittery. Like feelings I had towards Kitamura right now. Hold up, Ishikawa! Kitamura, you're already done drinking? No, I left. Why? It's your chance! I don't need it! I want to flirt with you! What are you talking about? You remember how I said I was playing all the time in uni? I figured I would fall in love when I started working. In other words, I just look for the closest good-looking guy to fall for. So you have no regrets about Nakajima? Yeah, I was just playing pretend with him the whole time. So is it okay if we start healing you by really going out? I'm not as beautiful as Shiratori, and I might not be able to make you forget about her, but I will do my best, not just to fall in love, but to be in love with you. Kitamura. <laughs> what? I'm trying to be all bold and you're laughing at me? No, I was just thinking the same thing, so it's just another coincidence, huh? Same thing? Yeah, I admired Shiratori. 
I like you. Not admire, like. Hitamura's eyes were wide open and started tearing up. She jumped into my chest for a hug. A few years later, it was a wedding day. Do you swear love? I do. Nakajima and the bride are so pretty. Right? I didn't expect the guy who was single the longest to get married before me. Shiratori's arguing with her boyfriend about not getting proposed yet. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that couple arguing is just a love language. Ah, they're doing the bouquet toss! Oh, is that the one where you can catch it and get married next? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the right. You go to the left. I'm part of this? Of course! We need to boost your odds! Odds? We don't need to gamble this. Hmm? What are you saying? The whole place was super loud, and the bouquet came flying towards me like I had a magnet on it. I guess God is telling me to give her what she wants. I politely presented the bouquet to her, and the whole event was deafened by the amount of people cheering with joy.